The quote that should win is, love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is when Cupid painted blind. It is said by Helena, who clearly says it out of jealousy. When Helena says this quote, Lysander and Hermia have just told her their plan to run away and have left the scene. She is left standing around and talks about how Demetrius only loves Hermia because of her love. The quote that she win is, love looks not with the eyes but with the mind, and therefore is when Cupid painted blind. It is said by Helena, who clearly says it out of jealousy. When Helena says this quote, Lysander and Hermia have just told her their plan to run away and have left the scene. She is left standing around and talks about how Demetrius only loves Hermia because of her looks. This quote is important to this part of the story because Helena is saying that the right type of love should not be founded by the eyes, but should be seen with the mind. The quote sums up the true way you should love somebody. I am competing against quote 4 where Hermia says, I give him curses, yet he gives me love. My quote is better than quote 4 because while my quote tells you the right way you should you find love, quote 4 just says that while she curses him, he ignores and still chooses to love her. My quote also has a piece of evidence which is that Cupid, a god of love, is shown to be blind and loves people because of who they are. My quote should also win because if you think about it, you should love somebody because of who they are, not because of what they look like. I would like to end this by saying that love should be considered a beautiful thing mentally and emotionally and not just based on a person's outer beauty. For this podcast, I chose the quote, I give him curses, yet he gives me love. This quote was said by Hermia, and she said this quote when she and Helena were talking about Demetrius. Helena was saying that she would give up anything to be in Hermia's position, because Demetrius loves her and loves her beauty. But Hermia talks about even though she is very negative towards him, he still loves her and wants to be with her. This quote is important to the story because it shows who the characters love and who they really want to be with. And it will progress into something bigger in this story. This quote, uh, the quote I'm competing against is quote number three. Quote number three is love looks not with the eyes but with the mind. And therefore it wings Cupid painted blind. My quote is better than the quote I'm competing against because the other quote tells love is not when you look or assume something about that person but how you feel about that person. My quote is also better because it carries on with the story but also shows the relationships with one another. Lastly, my quote should win because it tells even though you may pick or be mean to someone, the person you are being mean might still love and forgive you. In the play A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare, there are a huge amount of really cool quotes. After reading through the play, however, there is one that really stands out to me. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind, which is spoken by Helena in lines 1.1, Point two forty five through two forty six. In this particular context, Helena is saying this because she is noting that love works in unexpected ways. There are a number of things happening in the play at this moment, one of them being that Demetrius, the man she's in love with, doesn't really like her back. Also, these two lovers, Lysander and Hermia, have just told her that they're going to run away to get married. This is making Helena kind of jealous because she wishes that Demetrius loved her as Lysander loves Hermia. One reason why this quote is important is that it offers insight as to what her and Demetrius' relationship status is. The quote I am competing against is this, I give him curses, yet he gives me love, which is spoken by Hermia in lines 1.1.196. The reason why I think my quote is better than that is that my quote is a really good analogy to almost any relationships, while the competing quote is really specific to one part of the play. Also, my quote is a really beautiful quote, which adequately describes the crux in true love. To conclude, my quote is the best because it uses beautiful phrasing and can be applied to almost any relationship. The quote I chose was, I give him curses that he gives me love. This quote was said by Hermia. Hermia said it because even though she gives Demetrius curses, he still loves her and not Helena. What was happening was that Hermia and Helena are talking to each other and how Demetrius loves Hermia and Helena thinks, why does he not love me and why does he love her? This quote is important because it shows how the whole love square shows and how it affects each character's love for each other and how it affects their life. It is important to the play because it shows how they will start fighting for who they love and shows their feelings for one another. I'm competing against the quote, love looks not with the eyes but with the mind and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. My quote is better because it shows more on how it affects them, but the other quote just says how Cupid is painted blind, and that's it, and you cannot really get a glimpse of how it turns out. But with my quote, you can figure out what it means and how it relates to the characters. My quote should win this because it really shows how how their love affects each other and how it is one big square of love that gets messed up 
and th but then gets put back together. The quote I will be supporting is, Love looks not with eyes, but with my with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind, said by Helena. I chose this quote because it has a deep and powerful meaning. It represents how things in love can unexpectedly change faster than the blink of an eye, and this has happened to Helena with Demetrius, leaving her for Hermia. During the time the quote was being said, Helena was talking to Lysander about how she loves Demetrius very much, and that he loved her the same way, and all of a sudden that feeling was gone. My quote goes deep into the story and has a meaning behind it. The quote that will be going against mine is, I give him curses, yet he gives me love, said by Hermia. My quote is better because it has it has a deep part of the story and tells its own story with it. It is the best because the other quote is about how Hermia is complaining about Demetrius loving her, and she's running away from her problem and not fixing it. Like Helena said, she's very lucky to have someone to love her like that. My quote is, I give him curses, yet he gives me love, and it was stated by Hermia. Hermia says this because she was explaining to Helena how she gets Demetrius to love her so much. Helena wish, wishes she could be like Hermia and make Demetrius love her. This quote is important to the play because it sets up the feelings of this character towards Demetrius. The feelings of the characters towards one another becomes a very important part later in the play. It is important to, th to this part of in the story because it helps Helena know what she does to get Demetrius to love her so much. I am competing against quote three, which is, love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is wing Cupid painted blind. My quote is more powerful than quote three and should win because it shows how no matter how Hermia treats Demetrius, Demetrius loves her. It should win because quote four, my quote, is showing the power of love. Quote three is only showing what love should be. The quote, love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is when Cupid painted blind, Helena, in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, is an important part in understanding the plot. Although the story would be the same without this line, what it means is that love has no meaning or explanation or anything. You can have no reason in loving somebody, yet you can obsess over them. You do not love somebody only for the beauty. You don't love with your eyes, but with your heart, mind, and soul. Helena said this because she and Hermia are so alike, but all the boys prefer Hermia over Helena, and she doesn't understand why. I give him curses, yet he gives me love. This quote that is said by Hermia is basically saying that she feels sorry for herself because somebody loves her and thinks she is beautiful. Oh, my poor self, a man loves me and keeps saying how beautiful I am, but I don't love him, and he keeps pestering me and my beauty. The better quote is very obvious once you break them both down. It's easy to assume that love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is lean Cupid painted blind is the better quote. Hi, this is Anna Ward reporting for Miss Jager's Advanced English class. Today I'm going to explain why the quote, I give him curses, yet he gives me love, is better than the quote, love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind, from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. The quote, I give him curses, yet he gives me love, is said by Hermia in Act 1, Scene 1. During this part of the play, Hermia is explaining to Helena how she doesn't love Demetrius, but Demetrius loves her, and Helena is very je jealous of Hermia. This quote is important to the play because it explains the situation between Hermia and Demetrius. This quote is better than the quote said by Helena, love looks not with the eyes but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind, because it explains how Demetrius is in love with Hermia, and Hermia doesn't like Demetrius. It is also better than Helena's quote because without Helena's quote, the story would still make sense. But without Hermia's quote, the story would not make as much sense because the story is about the complications between Hermia, Demetrius, Helena, and Lysander. Overall, Hermia's quote is better because it shows how relentless Demetrius is and how he will do anything to make Hermia love him. But no matter what, Hermia will never love Demetrius. These are the reasons why in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, Hermia's quote, I give him curses, yet he gives me love, is better than Helena's quote, Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is when you keep it painted blind. This has been Anne Ward, and thank you for listening to my podcast. I chose quote number three. 
Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is maimed Cupid, painted blind, said by Helena. Helena in the play said this trying to explain that love isn't based off of looks, it's based off on what's inside. At the time the quote was being said, Hermia and Lysander were telling Helena about their plan to sneak out and run away together. And Helena is explaining that everyone but Demetrius in the Athens thinks Helena is beautiful. She then explains that love isn't about beauty, it's about what's inside. The quote is important in that part of the play and to the play because Helena is trying to explain that even though everyone thinks she is beautiful, the guy she loves doesn't think she is. But love isn't about beauty. My quote is competing against number four. I give him curses, yet he gives me love, said by Hermia. The quote I chose is better because it's explaining that love is basically blind. Love isn't based off of beauty and looks. Love is based off of what's inside and how the mind is. Hi, my name is Eric Daniels, and I'm doing this podcast on a quote from A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. The quote I will be reviewing is said by the character Helena and is, I give him curses, yet he gives me love. This means Demetrius is deeply in love with Hermia, even though she is already planning to get married to Lysander. Helena is also in love with Demetrius, and no matter what he tells her, she will always be in love with him. All of this is happening because Hermia and Lysander are planning to get married at Lysander's widow aunt's house without the Athenian law. According to the Athenian law, whoever a woman's father says they shall marry, they will be for- either forced to marry him, will have to become a nun, or will be killed. My quote is better than my opposing quote because the other quote is an insult thrown at Hermia, but my quote is a statement saying that Hermia doesn't love Demetrius. Thank you for listening to my podcast.